While the Edelkrone Pocket Rig is compact and relatively inexpensive in comparison to offerings from companies like Zacuto and Red Rock Micro, it's still very limited in expandability and has a number of core design flaws. It requires an endless degree of tweaking and upkeep in order to keep all the moving parts working correctly. This is mainly a problem with the design of the collapsible shoulder stock. If the tension screws in this part of the rig are tightened to a level where they won't loosen over time, the shoulder stock is too stiff to be usable. But leaving these screws loose enough to allow for smooth operation of the mechanism means they are also loose enough to come out of alignment completely, allowing the shoulder stock to move freely and make unwanted rattling noises during filming. Upkeep of the pocket rig requires several Allen wrenches, which can easily be lost in the field and are a nuisance to take out and use during a shoot. Because of these flaws, I decided to build a new support rig from the ground up, using off-the-shelf parts that require no modifications. I started with the Photography and Cinema MP2 mounting plate because it has an anti-twist bracket attached to the camera mount and multiple threaded holes on its base. This means that the MP2 will be free of any unwanted rotation, the cause of most of my modifications to the pocket rig. I was able to mount the Manfrotto Rapid Connect adapter with a single screw after adjusting the anti-twist bracket. And because the tripod mount has both quarter 20 and 3 8 inch holes, I was able to give the 501 style mounting plate two anchor points. From there, I use small rig hardware to attach a small rig camera grip handle V3 and a photography and cinema chest pad. The new rig does not twist along the axis of the tripod mount or the handle. It's very sturdy. All of its moving parts lock down. There are no moving parts in this rig, so adjustments can be tightened all the way down and nothing rattles during shooting. Thank you.